I have no great tool for you. Um, but I do know that there's a lot of statistical concepts that are really important to learn, and there's no better way to learn things than through cats. So I bring you cats and stats. <laughs> we all know, if any of you have a cat, that they're constantly drawn to keyboards. Um, so they're very savvy computer users. Um, they're also independent thinkers. Um, they can be critical of things, uh, particularly certain smells. Um, and they can help us learn statistics. So let's go back to one of the early concepts that we always use to teach statistics and numbers, which is the data ladder. Um, at the very bottom of the data ladder, we know is categorical data. <laughs> and as you move up the ladder, it becomes continuous. So we're going to go down to the very bottom of the ladder, ladder with the most simple categorical data, dichotomous variables. This is Stanley. He's my cat. And thanks again to all of you whose cats volunteered to participate in this. I really appreciate it. Um, you can go beyond two categories. This is the category of color. Gray, white, orange. Harley, Stanley, Boris. <laughs> Male, female. That's Gordon and Luna. Um, and with those categorical variables, you can examine things like what you might expect in the general population to get and what you actually get in your data. Um, data can also be continuous. Um, the number of cats, your age of the cat, the height of your cat. Um, another important concept is distribution. Um, Loka here is demonstrating what's a very normal distribution of data, but data is not always normal. Sometimes you have a very wide distribution, sometimes you have a very skinny distribution, and that affects the sorts of analyses that you can do with your data. Um, skew is an important concept. We have positive skew. You want to catch all this. Negative skew, and as Holly Hacker reminded me, be careful of the long tail. <laughs> um, we can use our data to do paired tests. They'll be introduced at the end. There's too many cats here. Um, and correlation. Here we see a possible correlation between intake and size. We also can take that a step further and do a regression. This is a study, an actual study, of dietary intake versus ammonia excretion. Um, digging into the formula, we can actually say that 52% of the change in the output demonstrated by the litter box uh, can be explained by the input. Um, also, sampling is an important concept in data. It's a good way to test your data. We had a great talk about sampling earlier. Um, but beware, there can be sampling error. Um, you can also use indexes to evaluate many concepts. So I used it to evaluate the quality of my cats, Stanley, Gordon, and Elsa, um, on several factors, the amount of shedding, vocalness, friendliness, energy level. And then I averaged those scores to come up with an index. Um, and Stanley came out on top. <laughs> Don't tell Gordon. Um, so some tips for learning more about statistics, Luna says to study, do your homework, examine your data closely and your work closely, talk to experts, get plenty of food and rest, repeat your work over and over and over, and remember, you can do it. Wait, wait, wait. You have to hear Elsa's little video that was supposed to automatically run but did not. And maybe one. Oh well, we'll uh, skip that. She, she can actually respond to, are you a pretty girl with a yes? Anyone who's really interested, I can show you later. <laughs> uh, so thanks to everybody and thanks to our